All right, so we're back here. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make a case holder today. Uh, this method can be used for rifle casings or shotgun shells or anything or any size. That's the good thing about these is you don't have to go out and buy a specialty size if you have some kind of oddball cartridge. You can just make these um, a perfect fit for your cartridge in there. These casings are fitting there really snugly. They don't really slide until you really want to get one out. Okay, and they're cheap because they're made out of tape, masking tape and electric tape. Now you can use you can replace the electric tape with duct tape or anything else, but the the, uh, the part of the tape that actually touches the bullets and the casings has to be masking tape. Otherwise, it just won't work because all the other types of tapes are too sticky. All right. So you take your masking tape, and you take however many cartridges you're going to use for this uh, case holder, however many you desire. I'm just going to do three for speed purposes. Okay, I'm going to take, you're going to find your end of your, your tape, take some off here. Okay, now to start, you're going to grab one of these. You're going to wrap the tape around this case with the uh, sticky side out, not touching the cartridge. Okay, and it's kind of tricky because this stuff sticks to your fingers. But you, so you go here, you wrap around until it catches on the other side, and it sticks to itself. And you can go, you can stop there, or you can just wrap one, one more turn so it's secure. There it is. Okay, sticky side out, and then you just do that to the other two. So, now we got three cartridges with tape wrapped around them, sticky side out, so these slide freely inside of the tube. Next, you're going to take one strip. You don't have to tear it off, because you might end up using more. Okay, so you're here, I'll go ahead and tear it off, so it's easier to work with. Okay, you lay your strip down, sticky side up, and you will place one cartridge as straight as you can onto that strip. Okay, then you wrap this little tag end over, and then you roll it until that tag end is covered. You roll it towards you until it's covered. Okay, now you're good. Next, take your second cartridge, same thing. You place it right, touching directly next to that other first cartridge. Okay. And as straight as you can out of that strip, you can take this tag in here, pull it over, okay, and, and then wrap it. You can do this as many times as you want, just depends on how strong you want the hole to be. That works for me, okay. Then you can go third cartridge, same exact thing, as evenly as you can possibly get it. Lie it down, and close it off with that, okay. Now, the cartridges don't look even, but that doesn't matter, because they just slide freely. You can see it's already tight. It's perfect, see? It won't fall out. It holds out when you want them, but they are snug. Just as snug as some of those last ones you find for sale. All right, next step is adding the electric tape to the outside, which is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll show you anyways. So, take this, and this could be duct tape too, or anything else you want that's strong, or stronger masking tape. Take a strip, as long as you need it to be. Cut it off. Lay it down. Now you place this on there evenly as possible. Okay, you don't want the sticky part to be touching the case. So I got that laying there. Okay, bring this over. Close it off. There you go. You can even just go sticky side, sticky side here. Just make sure that it's good. Okay, there. That works. Full contact over there. It's kind of a mess there, but it's okay. You wrap that around. And you just wrap and wrap until you're out of this length of tape. Okay. And I guess the more you use, the stronger it'll be, and the longer it'll last, I suppose. But you don't even need this much. This might be too much, but it'll work. Okay, nice and tight. All right. Now, you can make these look a lot neater. I just kind of did them fast just for you guys, but that's the basic concept. Okay. Cases come out. You're left with this. And you can obviously reuse these until they are worn out. But I don't see how they'll be worn out too fast unless you go out in the rain or water. Okay, any any cartridge of the same size will work on this exact same one. And if you end up making multiple, um, or many of these, more than one, you can just combine them. You can make two, three, three round uh, case holders. Just do that same technique where you place them down on top of the strip and connect them. But I think the best way to connect them is just one at a time with, with a layer of tape in between each one because it uh, holds the tension a bit better. And there you go. That's how you make those. If you thought this video was helpful or anything like that, let me know. And thanks for watching.